Nearly 4,000 entered. Only six remain, and tensions are running high. I'm usually very friendly until somebody makes a play at me or sucks out of me. Woo! Good lay down. Good lay down. I can't be a but you ain't top dog yet. Theo Tran's attention has been squarely focused on Mike No, who's not about to back down. Let's play some cards, fellas. But every player should be aware of one man, Chris Ferguson. Yeah. The poker legend has been lurking. His sights set on a sixth World Series of poker bracelets. I'm going to start to gamble. I'm really going to go for the win. The time is now for everyone to kick it into high gear, but only one player can take home poker's symbol of excellence. Welcome to the World Series of Poker, presented by Milwaukee's Best Life with Norman Chad. I'm Lon McCarran. This event started with the fourth largest field in World Series history, and after many grueling hours of play at the Rio, we're down to a precious few. Chip leader Grant Hankel turns 28 later this week, trying to give himself a bracelet as a birthday present. 26-year-old Theo Tran wants the bracelet too, but along the way, he'd like to settle a score with Mike No. No created some bad blood with Tran when he showed a bluff that got Tran off his pocket aces. Meanwhile, 2000 main event champion Chris Ferguson has some work to do if he wants to capture his first bracelet in five years. It was like... Three tables, you're in the cash. One, you know, you know, it's like, they're a lot easier in the old days. And some of them, you make the final table. And, and it is the cash or whatever, yeah. Huh. Nowadays, nowadays, what? 400 people make the money and nine make the final table? Grant Hinkle right now does have a tenuous lead with six players left. Ferguson, the second short stack. Aaron Coulthard looking for the most help right now. The next player out will win nearly $212,000. The blinds right now are at 30 and 60,000. You're looking at Theo Tran. And on the Milwaukee's Best Light Pocket Camp, Theo is looking at pocket sevens. You know, Lon, in the old days, we traveled in airplanes in a suit and tie. We got married and divorced in a suit and tie. We played cards in a suit and a tie. Not anymore. Theo raises it to 175. Ferguson folded. Ferguson's girlfriend, Fabiola Gomez, on the right. And on the left is actress Shannon Elizabeth here to cheer Chris on. Now to James Aikenhead, who also will celebrate a birthday in a few days. He will turn 25. He's from London. He is part of the hit squad there, sort of a younger, hipper Hendon mob. And with Ace King, he will make the call. Mike No now from the big blind. Ace Jack of Diamonds. No, a successful cash game player in Los Angeles. He'll make the call for 115,000 more. So three players to the flop. Theo has his eyes on the flop and on Mike No. And now the flop is 10, queen, ace. Aikenhead's king kicker providing the edge as two players hit their ace. Aikenhead and no, don't want to make two pair. That would give the other the straight. No checks. Tran with the pocket sevens will check also. There's a lot of overcards there on the board. Aikenhead checked, and I would have bet that baby 400,000 and waved to the crowd. Nobody committing. Aikenhead's buddies looking on closely. A four, Aikenhead is still best. No now. Reaching for chips, he'll bet 200,000. See where he stands. Tran will get out of the way. And he's likely thinking bad thoughts about Mike No right now. <laughs> now Aikenhead with the best hand. Well, just a call. Aikenhead does have uh, No in bad shape right now. All right, now the river card heads up, and it's a jack, and that's Broadway for Aikenhead, and he gets the check mark. No, with aces up, checks. Aikenhead goes from the best hand to an unbeatable hand here on the river. And Aikenhead will put forth 475,000. Now he's bet about half the size of the pot, hoping to get paid off. And No makes the call pretty quickly. And there is the winning hand from James Aikenhead. No is disgusted. Aikenhead's buds are happy. Yeah, well done. I'm sold on the hit squad, Lon. The Hendon mob is so 20th century. You're kicking yourself. Theo Tran got out cheaply by folding, but he's not unhappy that his nemesis Mike No dropped almost 900,000 chips in that hand. In a tournament like this, Norman, if you manage to make it through the sea of thousands, you should get to know the few remaining players with you at the final table. But sometimes familiarity breeds contempt. Yes, it does, Lon, but we've worked together a long while and still get along quite well. 
The man of the hour is quite familiar, but breeds little contempt. Chris Ferguson going for his sixth bracelet. He may not get it, but I guarantee you he won't let emotion get the better of him. There is Ferguson looking rather confident, but come to think of it, Norman, that's also Chris on tilt or when he's holding the nuts or when Chris is bluffing. This guy is hard to read. <laughs> and Chris Lon trying to conquer a field of 3,929, largest non-main event field in World Series history. Six players left. Action on Mike No with ace 10. I'm all in. And he is going to push the action, moving all in. Just over a million chips. They had 13 big blinds left, so he pushes. And trust me, Theo wants to take him out. No doubt about that, but Theo does not have the cards to take on and all in right now. Over to Chris Ferguson now. Ferguson looks at King Deuce of clubs. You know, I'm going to yell out fire and see if Chris Ferguson <laughs> moves a muscle. Chris folded, and Kings for Aikenhead. I'm all in. And he is going to move all in. He has no covered. Action on Grant Hinkle in the small blind, and he will say no thanks. I think his mom, Lynn, is happy about that. She doesn't have to get on her feet. Her son's been active. Big blind folds, and so it will be no and Aikenhead going heads up with Mike No all in. And Mike No pushed to the edge here. He's going to need help, and Theo Tran likes what he sees. The Kings of Aikenhead right now in good position to knock off Mike No. Good luck, bro. I'm rooting for you. You know I'm rooting for you. Man. Well, Mike No stands alone, and he's going to stand back and, and watch the overhead screen. All right, now the flop with No at risk. And the flop, there's an ace for No to take the lead. I told you it was coming. I told you it was coming. I wasn't even sweating it. James Aikenhead probably wishing Theo Tran wasn't sweating him. How did, like, bad plays get rewarded? How do bad plays get rewarded like that? Well, it looks like no might get paid off for playing that ace-10. Turn card now is a queen. <laughs> Aikenhead thought it was a king. One card to come. You have a king? <laughs> oh, maybe I did. I'm not... I, I'm not sure. Jesus did fold a king. Aikenhead needs the last one on the deck to knock out No. It's a six on the river, and Mike No will stick around, doubling up, hitting the ace on the flop. And Aikenhead loses about 40% of his chips on that hand. And No struts around like the ace was a sure thing. No stays alive, so Theo Tran will have to endure his rival a little bit longer. Back inside the Rio poker room where Theo Tran seems a bit frustrated about Mike No dishing out a bad beat in that last hand to survive. That's so horrendous. Because I want him out of here. How do bad plays get rewarded? I don't think Theo and Mike are going to be shopping together at Banana Republic anytime soon. <laughs> All right, I think I'm back in it now. Yeah, nice double up from Mike No, but his success has drawn resentment from his rival. But Theo Tran's jealousy goes beyond the success of his nemesis at tonight's final table. He is hoping to claim what he feels.